Welcome back, everyone, to Pontus Fathom Hobbies. This is Season 4, Episode 7 of Tainted Grail, and we're on Day 7 of... I want to say it's... No, it's... Uh, chapter 3, Part 5. We have an active quest for... Learn about Nante from Camelot. Go to Camelot. So, actually, we've finally gotten Camelot on the board, and we are going to progress to... Um, probably move to Camelot next this round and try to follow the trail for our quest. It says Ephir didn't carry the grail. Nante did. And now she is embroiled in the court intrigue in Camelot. Find the cup before it's too late. <clears throat> so we're going to go ahead into that. Um, as, as you guys know, we've uh, went from the dark morass, first farmhold, Plague Burrow and Camelot in the last couple turns. So we're going to go ahead and advance our men here. Uh, this one is down to one. This one is down to one as well. And, but this men here that's keeping the light kind of going is just down to five. We just lit this men here. Uh, before we continue, quick shout out to this channel's sponsor, Pontos Fathom Press. Uh, as you guys know, this channel is not monetized, and it's brought to you by the books we produce, like Alchemy and Anthroposophy in the Dune Saga. Uh, why, why does everyone love Dune? Dune is one of those beloved um, uh, sagas. The new movie has amazing, amazing. Denny Villeneuve is doing a great job. Uh, but in this series, we explore Frank Herbert's influences, like Jungian alchemy, the works of Samuel Butler, and also overlap with uh, Steiner's Anthroposophy, especially the ethics of God Emperor of Dune. So this is really a great one to check out. Also, if you're a Lovecraft fan, the Catu Journals out of Lovecraft's Providence Omnibus, collecting six volumes of Moldenhauer and Balsamo's work on Yarlathotep, Cthulhu, Yogg-Sothoth, and Azathoth. And then finally, our multi-part lecture series from Pontos Fathom Pest podcast. Most recent version, the Esoteric Dragon Mysteries, Decoding the Dragon Symbol in Myth and Occult Traditions. Uh, we were reading from that from some of the earlier episodes. If you want to go listen to the podcast, you can check it in our other channel. And as usual, uh, if you join our Patreon for as little as a dollar as a Pontos Fathomer, you can keep abreast of our upcoming Song of Ice and Fire gameplay, miniature painting, Joan of Arc, Tainted Grail, um, as usual, thank you to all of our Patreons. Thank you to our subscribers. Uh, you guys are really what's keeping the lights on here and uh, looking forward to jumping into round number seven. So without further ado, let us take Bayor and Maggot. Here is Bayor and Maggot. Actually, um, you know, we also have a, a, a series out now called Miniature Makeover. Tabletop Miniature Makeovers is where we look at our old um, painted miniatures and we revise and update our miniature paintings. So that's another thing to feature on the channel. Let's go ahead and have Bayor and Maggot move into Camelot. It says, learn from the knights for two energy. So first of all, let's grab our random event off the top of the deck. We've got a blood moon. Each time you resolve a gray, green, or purple encounter, you get one additional unavoidable uh, damage. Sign of Crom Crouch. The God of Worms and Tombs. Okay, we got a Blood Moon event right now. But unfortunately for us, all we have to do is learn from Knights. So if we move one, two, three down, one, two, three, we actually gain one experience once per day each. So we can grab our one experience, add it to the pool of experience. And now let's go into the card. It says, it is only up close that those you can see that some sections of the castle are already crumbling. The flag is at half mass, and it has been for many generations. Wow, so this is this is crazy. This tainted grail is so strange. So let's go into this is 190. 190 Camelot. We finally arrived at Camelot already. Uh, let's just review our oath again. Our quest says. Ephir didn't carry the true grail, Neante did, and now she is embroiled in a court intrigue in Camelot. Find the cup before it's too late. Learn about Neante from Lancelot in Camelot. So we need to follow any kind of clues about Neante or Lancelot. So let's go into it. 190 Camelot. If you have the Winds of Weirdness status, 
The winds of weirdness status. We don't have it. Okay. Remove this location and replace it with 195. Otherwise, read on. Finally, the walls of this ancient seat of power climb toward the sky before you. Filled with awe, you approach an arching stone port cutlass. Only up close do you notice signs of age and neglect. Portions of the battlements are crumbling. A tower has collapsed into the sea. The flag is at half-mast and has been for countless years. It seems Camilla is not exempt from the desolation of this realm. If you have the peace in the in the bow, in the burrow, peace in the burrow, peace in the burrow, we do not have it. Go to verse 2, otherwise go to verse 1. Verse 1, the gates of Camelot are closed. It's not surprising all the troubles in the borough have just outside. Demand entry. Requires six reputation. Well, we've got six reputation. The guards must have, must have your heads for your exploits. Go to verse 2. You've never been this far from home. As you step into the shadow of the looming fortress, you can't help but wonder what awaits. The castle seems empty at first. Dust covers its vast rooms and halls. Once the beating heart of the island, after a while, a pair of guards notice you and inquire whether you're lost. Ask to see the king. Request an audience with Morgane. Request an audience with Lancelot. We want to request an audience with Lancelot. I'm not even going to go any further. Uh, the round table protected the realm for centuries, and in the absence of Arthur, Sir Lancelot is its leader. Go to verse 4. If you have secret card 51 or secret card 19, let me check. Secret card 51 51 or secret card 19. Secret card 51 secret card 51 and 19. Nope. We don't have them. Okay, we don't have it. So, uh, otherwise if you have secret card otherwise read on. Guards lead you through an empty cavernous throne room to one of the side chambers. You feel like you've already seen this room, but it was different. Instead of a table, there was a pit. Instead of red cloth, a pool of blood. You shake this strange feeling as Lancelot approaches, his broad shoulders slumped, his eyes distant. Ask Lancelot to help connect. Ask about Neante. We, know we want to ask about Neante. Go to verse 15. Let's just jump to it. Jump to it. Ask him about Neante. Lancelot is reluctant to speak. He says those are important matters of the Order's security. Ask him why your actions so far haven't earned trust. Requires at least five different parts of the restoring the, uh, the Order status. Go to this. Try to sway him with your distant diplomatics. Restoring the Order status. Let's see, do we have that? Restoring the Order status. We don't have anything. Ugh, we're going to try to sway him with my diplomatic skills. Uh, why does this worry me? Uh, sway him with your diplomatic skills. We get four, six, four, wait, 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 wait. four, six, eight. Sorry, four, six, eight. Four, six, eight in the book of secrets. Four, six, eight. Resolve the convince Lancelot blue encounter in verse 507. 507. Convince Lancelot. Okay, well, look at this. We've got a card inside of the book. This is crazy. Okay, convince Lancelot. Okay, so we're going to put our a token here uh, in neutral. Okay, first off, let's... Uh, Let's put our some cards against this. So let's put this like this so we can kind of keep it real here. Let's look at our diplomacy from uh, Bayor. Does Bayor get this one? Yeah, this is a good one to start with. So Bayor starts out with the eye for detail. And when he gets to draw an extra card, gather clues, that's helpful. So eye for detail, he gets to gather clues. And also, he gets to use um, sense of right, sense of duty. We get one up for one, two. 
So we get um, the empathy is two up, one, two, and, and this one is up three, one, two, th one, two, three, okay? And then we also get another one here, four. So reward, go to verse 345. Go to verse 345. Wow, so we, we, we've convinced Lancelot. 345. 345. Lancelot breaks down and reveals his subterfuge. He convinced Niante to bring the true grail home to the tombs of the order for a critical ceremony he wanted to perform. She departed with a retinue of knights, and so far he hasn't received any words from the tombs. Listening, you hear worry in Lancelot's voice. What were his, lights, his knights to do? Congratulations, you've completed your quest in your current chapter. Discard all events. Each player gains two experience. Okay, two experience. Two and two. Um, and one magic. One and one. Discard all events cards. So we can discard our event cards. We'll discard this as well. Random events can go back to the pool. Random event. Uh, then save your game or draw a chapter four setup card. So we get to get rid of chapter three B and we're back to chapter four A. So that that's, looks like it. That's it, guys. We're going to return back um, to chapter four A. We have got um, a success here so the idea is Lancelot has broken down he reveals his subterfuge he is convinced Neante to bring the true grail north to the tombs of order for a critical ceremony well let's kind of sneak peek ahead and just see what 4a is about let's just check it out it says place this card on top of the active quest only one of your champions follow Neante to the, to the tombs of the order it's called the resting place. Discard the top card from the event deck. Sum up all wealth and food and magic. And if the total value is lower or something. So basically we have a new quest to follow Niante to the Tombs of Order. We're going to resolve that in the next game. So guys, thanks for watching. It's going to wrap up a season four. Uh, we look forward to season five. If you guys like and subscribe, we're going to record all this down and get ready for season five. Um, we'll jump into chapter four, A, part one. Thanks for watching. As usual, guys, like and subscribe. Check out our Patreon. Check out our bookstore link down below. And uh, thanks a lot for your support. Looking forward to this. This game is awesome. Uh, hope you guys are having fun and talk to you soon. Bye-bye.